Hi, this is Kyle from Inaday Development. Welcome to our video tutorial on uneven cash flows. Working with uneven cash flows in the original 10b2 calculator was difficult, but the 10b2 financial calculator app offers you increased power and flexibility when working with uneven cash flows and features a dedicated spreadsheet style window for working with your numbers. You can access the uneven cash flows window by hitting CFJ or using the view menu. This window lets us enter the initial cash flow amount, which is the same as CF in period zero if you're used to the physical calculator. By default, there's one additional line of payments in which you can enter an amount and a number of times that amount of cash flows either in or out. If you want more lines, just click the plus button and more lines will appear. To enter data, just double click on one of the fields in a row and type your numbers with your keyboard. You have to make sure you enter a number of times greater than zero or that row will be skipped when the calculator does its math. You can hit tab on your keyboard to automatically move from field to field when entering values. If you've entered some payment streams and want to delete any of them, just click on the rows you want to get rid of and click the delete button in the top right or hit the delete key on your keyboard. You can click individual rows or if you want to select a range of rows you can just click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one. You can also select non-consecutive rows by holding down command and clicking different rows. If you'd like to reorder your cash flows, just select the rows you want to move as I just described, then click and drag them to wherever you want them. Let's practice these operations. I know I'll be entering five payment amounts, so I make sure I have enough rows. First, I put negative 10,000 in the initial cash flow amount field, so I am paying $10,000 today. Then I put 500 in the next amount and 10 in the next number of times field, so I'm getting 10 payments of $500. I click the next amount field, then type 1000 and I enter 7 in the following number of times field. So I'm getting 7 payments of $1000. Then I enter negative 250 in the next amount field and 6 in the next number of times field. So I pay out $250 each month for the next 6 months. I enter 0 into the amount field, 12 into the number of times field, so I pay nothing for a year. Whoops, this one should have come before the $1,000 seven times payment stream, so I can just click and drag that row up above the $1,000 seven times row and drop it there. For that matter, I messed up and the negative $250 line shouldn't have been there at all, so I click that row and click delete or hit the delete key on my keyboard. Keep in mind that the first cash flow cannot be moved or deleted, but you can change all of the cash flows. If you'd like to save this series of uneven cash flows for later, just click Add to Recents and it will be saved to your recent calculations, which is found in the View menu here. I want to see what the cash flow diagram looks like for this series of payments, so I hit the Chart button. If you are unfamiliar or unclear on what this means, check out our other video on Understanding Cash Flow Diagrams. Check out the video for NPV and IRR per year to see what we can do with these values. Thanks for watching, and make sure you get your 10b2 Financial Calculator app from the App Store for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Mac OS. If you have any questions about this example, please feel free to email us at theteam at inadaydevelopment.com.